All right, so these are these are the Panasonic cells. You see little black dashes along the top. Panasonic 2900s. These are uh, I guess some of the some of those uh, three pack modem batteries. So I'm really interested in checking these because these oh no these are supposedly from a good pack you know they're all like 26 27 yeah 26 27 and uh actually this it's this pack where pack see i put this little mark here so pack one pack two and you can see you know, all the random testing and then i got the lead coated chargers because I was running these before I got the Lakota charge. So now I got them. Um, and first I did these. So pack number two, 19, pack number one. This is one of the better ones. I got a, you know, a few of the pack ones, pack twos that are, you know, 13, 15. And that's why there's, oh, these are all mixed up. See, that, that was from pack four, 26. So. I guess these are probably the only, like, good ones out of pack one and two. So, curious to see where they're at now, after two or three months. Here's a little snapshot of what you know what you get out of the gray cells: 27 and a half, 26 and a half, you know, all 26 like you're supposed to. Um, now with the pink ones, that's more like what you get with a 2600 amp hour is uh, you know uh, 24. Yeah. So all right, here we go. Check these Panasonic ones. Here we go. You know, these were done on like a little different process. So I think it was this one. This one. Let's check this other one again. These are not the greatest. They're okay. They're not the greatest. And see these ones up in the front are the uh, packs one and two. This one probably be bad too. Yeah, a little low. But we'll recharge them up and let them sit for a day. Kind of. Just take a look at them as, uh, as I remember to do it. Yeah, even these are lower, uh, 4.1. Yeah, but these are obviously used cells. They've been used, so knowing that, you know, I don't think I want to put them in my packs if they're, you know, like, so yeah, power cells and, and you know, regular density, dense cells. And, you know, if, if your battery is a, you know, it's rated for 1600 and it's down to, you know, 1450, well, to me, that's still a good cell that I would put in a power wall because it's not like it's a 2600 amp hours, 26 amp hours, 2.6 amp hour cell, or um, it's not 2600 and it's reading 13. 
that means it's like halfway like that cell would not use you know a, a 3000 amp hour cell like these 2900 amp hour cells if they were reading 18 well damn that's you know half the capacity is gone but you have people go oh well, i'm a you know, I'm not going to have anything over 2,000. Well, you know, if this cell was 2,000, that'd still be 900 milliamp hours lower than what it's rated. So that means it has a lot, like it's been used a lot. Now, you know, as I'm sitting here thinking about it, you know, I guess it's like if it's got 18, you know, it doesn't, I don't think it degrades faster as it gets, the longer its life is. So, you know, it still holds capacity. Now, if you have a, if it's down to 13, 15, you know, that's half the capacity. So obviously it's been cycled thousands of times. I can get why you wouldn't want to put that in with a bunch of brand new batteries. Now, maybe if you're doing packs of, you know, here's a 24 volt pack and a 24 volt pack. Maybe you save all those together and kind of have like an older 24 volt pack. That way, by the time it starts losing capacity, I mean, you can always just add another row of cells to it to, to pick the capacity. Obviously, that pack would be bigger than a pack like this, but that's fine. As long as it has the same amp hour rating, you're, you're golden. So, you know, as I think about it, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, people want to do, well, I only want 2,000 milliamp hours. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. It really matters how many cycle lives are left on it. Because you, you want to have, like, if these have... You know a thousand more cycles left before they get to 80 percent well you, you kind of want everything to be around about that that because you want the whole battery pack to be used as together and last long together and not you know two years from now having to pluck cells out of it and replace them which i guess even that wouldn't be a bad thing you know i mean how long is this supposed to last you know i guess if you keep your voltages right uh, I don't see why you couldn't get 10 years out of it. And then by then, I'm sure 18650, they'll be giving them away. All right.